I don't know if you've noticed it yet, but something weird is happening to our trusted friend, the SREF code. What's going on? Here's an example. A one-word prompt, hamburger, with this SREF code. It has this classic vintage engraved art look. And this is the version from Midjourney 6 when SREF codes were actually launched, right? Here's the same prompt again, hamburger with the same SREF code, but in version 6.1. And now here's the same setup, but in version seven. What the, if your favorite SREF codes suddenly look completely wrong in Midjourney 7, you're not going crazy. Trust me, it took me a minute to figure this out on my own as to what was really going on. And here's the thing, I have a spreadsheet with thousands of SREF codes and version seven just broke every single one of them. But here's the thing, they're not actually broken. Midjourney just completely changed how they work and I'm gonna show you exactly what happened and how to fix it in the next few minutes. Let me show you what I mean. So I have a prompt set up, it's hamburger with a new SREF code. And I like this one because it's got this weird ornate kind of funky look to it, right? And uh, I'm gonna have the settings, this is your settings panel for version six. This is when SREF codes were launched. And I wanna show you what you get just with this SREF code and why I like it. So let's just hit go. And it's gonna render it here in a couple, uh, couple moments. And hey, here you can see, it gives it this really rich color, saturated kind of a look. It's got this crazy ornate way of doing things, you know, with this little scene, you know, it's, it's really kind of a cool thing, right? So let's do the same prompt, okay? But let's change the algorithm from six to 6.1. And I want to show you that result. And you can see it, it, uh, it's the same, but it's a little different. Okay. Maybe this is the best one there. This one kind of like that. We're having some kind of crazy catch up fight. We don't know what's going on. Okay. Now here's the challenge. Let me show you what happens. This is for real. When we go to version seven. Now I'm just going to hold it right here until it's done. And then I'm going to surprise you with the result. Here's the result. Does that even remotely look close to it? It's some kind of crazy blueprint thing now, and we've got a fried egg on top, right? What's going on? That doesn't look anything like what we were doing, right? So what happened to the SREF code? So I dug into this and here's what Midjourney actually did. They created an entirely new style reference system called SV6. Your old SREV codes aren't broken. They're just being read by a completely different algorithm. It's like having a translator who suddenly starts speaking a different language. Everything is okay. There are actually six different algorithms in Midjourney 7, and these are made for the reference images that you upload when you create other types of images. And we're gonna discuss that in a minute. But here's the good news. There's a simple fix. Your old SREF codes work exactly how they used to in Midjourney version seven. But first let's dig into what these algorithm updates mean here. The challenge lies within how Midjourney works for uploaded images. Style reference or SREF for short is about how the tool uses images as a basis for creating new images. In Midjourney, different versions or algorithms interpret the style of an uploaded reference image in distinct ways. In Midjourney version seven, six style versions are available when uploading your reference image. Each version offers a different approach to applying the reference image to a style. And not to get too confusing here, but style version algorithms are aimed at the uploaded images only, and it's not about SREF codes, which basically is where the problem exists. So you need to understand what's going on here. And so let's take a look at all six of these style version algorithms and see what they do. 
And remember, these are for using uploaded images and only two of these actually work with SREF code. So let's take a look. So version one, SV1, makes images better, but it's more controlled. SV2 is a powerful uh, version algorithm, and but it has some wacky results sometimes, and it's really good for experimentation. Version three, SV3, enhances without overwhelming, so it just makes the image look better. Version four delivers consistently good results and this is what you need to remember with SREF codes, SV4, okay? Just lock that in your brain now. Version five is a vintage time machine, just kind of like a throwback kind of a look. And version six, this is the default style version that's available in mid-journey version seven. Remember, these are for uploaded reference images only. Here, we use a single, we're still using a single word prompt, hamburger, along with an uploaded reference photo. And here's the six different style versions. In order to understand what's going on with the SREF code challenge, I want to show you this stuff to understand how the style versions play a role in the SREF workflow. And this is the aim of MidJourney is to use more algorithms to give you, the user, more control. But remember, with the SREF codes, only version four and version six are the ones that work in version seven of mid-journey right so at the bottom you can see version four version six those are the ones that are working right for sref codes so here's what you have to do to fix this in your work so remember this it's the original problem okay when we don't specify the correct style version with sv4 in mid-journey seven it is using sv6 by default which is the different algorithm and, and that's what we have here, right? So if we reset it using SV4, we're back to what was expected. You simply have to remember dash dash SV4 when you're using whatever SREF codes that you like. Problem solved. Now you might be wondering, hey, why did they change this, right? So first, uh, version seven, Midjourney seven is actually better in several ways. It has less subject leakages and basically better overall quality. But the sacrifice here is that version seven algorithm drives how these images are rendered. And that means that every SREF code number now produces a completely different style as the math is different. And guess what? There's no conversion chart. SREF code one, two, three, five, or whatever you're using in the old system is going to look nothing like SREF code one, two, three, four, five in mid journey version seven. So here's what this means for your workflow. Okay. If you have an existing SREF code library like I do with all of those saved on a spreadsheet or whatever, right? You need to use dash dash SV4 to keep them working. If you want to explore the new improved system, stick with the default dash dash SV6. And by the way, you don't have to write uh, SV6, it's the default anyway, right? So here's the result with this prompt, which is cartoon mouse in version seven, just as the normal prompt. And we didn't use the SV4 designation. This is just what you get if you just said cartoon mouse with this SREF code, okay? Now here's the result if we add uh, dash dash SV4, and this shows the power behind this actual SREF code that I named at the top, which is why I like it, right? So as a fun ornate look, it's got a color palette full of rich reds, creams with that really nice black pen rendering. And you don't get any of that with uh, the default SV6 algorithm. Um, but hey, you know, maybe you like the one on the left better. I don't know, right? Drop a comment and let me know which one of these uh, mice you like the best, left or right. I like the one on the right. So by the way, this is exactly the kind of insider knowledge that we dive deep into in the Mid-Journey Experience School community. Creative professionals just like you are sharing ideas just like this every single day. We have live Zoom training calls every single Tuesday, plus, I personally respond to every question with answers. So if you need more help, that's where you should be. The link is up there in the description. Just click that and join. And if you found this video helpful, 
please hit subscribe because I'm constantly testing these updates and I want to provide better content for you guys, right? And then here's the thing that I want you to do right now. What SREF codes are you most excited about to test with this fix? I know you've got a couple that you're a go-to favorites. Drop them in the comments so we can all learn what you like, right? Let us know. Hey, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.